went to get my mail, and this is just from today. This has been going on since I put the house up for sale. C and F Movers, Atlas Interstate, Stevens, Arpen, Dolphin Moving Systems, Modern Movers. I've not heard of any of these before. Well, maybe one of them. But look how many of these, and this is just today. I keep getting them and it's like ridiculous. I feel bad because that just goes into the garbage. I think I can go to the post office and just ask to not have junk mail sent to me. But see, then I don't get my coupons if I do that. You know, the local thrift coupons that they send in your neighborhood. When I first moved here, I wasn't getting them at all. And then I complained I wanted them. And then I got them. And now look what happened. <laughs> so uh, I've got to do something about that. It's gotten out of hand. So there's no short of help, that's for sure. But we don't need that since we're going to be using a pod. Um, once we decide to move our stuff from the storage unit to where we're, we're going, it'll go into the pod. And it'll be sitting in Tampa somewhere. So... I won't need this. And the reason I'm sticking with pods is because I used them before and they seem to be about the same price as the other type of shipping containers. And I just feel comfortable with them. And I had a good experience, so I like to stick with uh, things that work and with good customer service. And no, I'm not a pods affiliate. I wish I was. Maybe I should call them up because I do like them. And the other update I wanted to give you was about the glitch on the Super Chat live stream. Just so you know, it definitely wasn't me. And I'm so happy because I was like, I can't be this uh, <laughs> tech unsavvy. So sure enough, I, you know, I knew I was following directions and it was a glitch. And YouTube is working on it. Now I know how to do this live stream uh, Super Chat because I was able to do it on my other channel that I don't use and it worked. I kept it on private and just to try to see, if, you know, make sure I knew what I was doing and sure enough it worked on my other channel, but I don't use that uh, channel. Now, if for some reason, if YouTube does not fix the live stream super chat for me on this channel, I think for backup plan I will do live stream only on my other channel I'll put the link below in the description box so you can follow me I'm gonna actually change the name and everything I have some old videos on there but I don't use it so so for backup if we can't get this fixed on this channel so we could do live stream I know a lot of you have questions especially about moving down to Florida and some other things uh, it'd be nice to go live so if you want to make sure you participate just in case and you never know with channels sometimes they get shut down something happens it's good that you're following me on this other channel anyways just for backup so i'll put the link below i think it's going to be called melody and rick schaefer this channel is called living free forever and i have melody and rick schaefer just so people know our names so i was signing my name after every comment and i like to know who people are in their at least their first name so I've, um, I think that's what I'm gonna do it'll probably be Melody and Rich Schaefer by the time you see this video you'll be able to click on the link in my description box and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know if I go live on that channel it's just for backup in case I can't do the live stream here all right off to the store we go or one of you mentioned about how I should check on the battery on my fob for the car. Let's see if you can see this. There, you were right. <laughs> it's funny because our old car, we had the same fob for years and never changed the battery. But on this car, soon after that we were talking about it in the comment section, our battery died in this thing. So I hope I could find the battery it's pretty common, so hopefully I could find it. Because now we're only down to one. We have two of these, and only one works for now. So I better go get that.
cover very quickly only because I wanted to do this in live stream and since I can't do it I want to share this information for you now because I've had many people ask me the same question so I want to make sure I give this to you if you're looking for a realtor from Punta Gorda Florida to Sarasota if you want to use my realtor she's super nice I'm not getting anything out of this by telling you about her but I actually used her to buy the house that we're in and now we're using her to sell our house. She doesn't push you, she's not pushy. I don't you know, like that aggressive type of uh, realtor. So I wanted to uh, tell you about Shannon Hansbury. I'm gonna put her phone number below. She's with Remax in Venice, but I think she takes care of, I think she goes out to Punta Gorda. I don't know if she handles Bradenton, but I know she handles you know, Venice, Northport, Port Charlotte, Englewood, Sarasota, and I'm not sure about Bradenton, but you can give her a call. And you could even call her to ask her uh, who she uses to help uh, find rentals. I don't have that number for that person who handles the rentals, but do tell her Melody Schaefer sent you. I want her to know how much I appreciate all that she's done for us. She's like a saint, I love her. So her information will be below. Again, do not use Craigslist unless you're here in person and you can go in person to see the property. A couple of sites, citydata.com and one of our subscribers mentioned areavibe.com. I'll have to look up the exact link, but that's really great. I love that site. And this way you can have an idea what type of neighborhood you're looking at. And I like grabbing the zip code of the neighborhood once I narrow it down and then type it in to something like apartmentguides.com apartment guide or apartment guides .com, apartments com, for rent.com there's other ones you could also of course look on Zillow if you're looking for houses condos realtor.com is another so those are just some sites I hope they can help you a little bit because I know it's like overwhelming when like you're not even sure where to start and those rental sites are great for anywhere in in the United States so if you're looking to move somewhere else, you can find, but you need to narrow down the um, where, where you wanna to live to the zip code because one zip code could be great and the next one could be a very bad neighborhood. Please do your homework. All right, I better get into that store. Well, they did not have my battery, so I guess I'll stop at Walgreens to see if they have it. got home and I realized while I was at the store I lost my bank card so I had to call cancel very frustrating most likely I'll end up finding it that's what happens when I clean out my purse I lose things I should just leave it messy so I know where everything's at I'm sure I put it somewhere now it's canceled so it's not good anyways and I'm not sure of how many of you follow me on Facebook, but I found out that we're able to do live streaming. I guess people have been doing live streaming for a little bit now on Facebook, but I just found out myself. So it's something I would like to do there as well. But it wants me to verify my account, but I can't verify it. Another technical issue, and there's like no way I can get a hold of Facebook. I sent them a feedback for help, and they're and the response was something like we may or may not be able to get back to you so if you know how to get a hold of facebook like an actual email that i could reach somebody because it's not a general question it's a technical problem with the page i have just like youtube why does this happen to me i don't know i know you probably think i definitely don't know what i'm doing but i'll tell you if i don't know what i'm doing this is definitely a technical another technicality I'm having um, this time on one of my Facebook pages. So I gotta figure that out as well because I would like to live stream. <laughs> but I guess maybe uh, the universe has other plans for me right now. Maybe I'm not supposed to or something. Who knows? I'll keep working on it. Yeah, so if you don't follow me on Facebook, make sure you do. All my social media links are down below. I always have this fear of losing contact with my friends because of something happening to a channel or a glitch or something. 
I'm not sure which social media um, platforms you belong to. I am curious, what is your favorite social media platform? Which one do you, you know is your favorite? Which one do you think will be growing the fastest in the next, say, five years? Because I know there's a lot of them that come up and then they, you know, fail or, you know, close down or they turn into something else. So it's pretty interesting to see where this internet world will take us and this social media world actually will take us in the near future. I have a lot to learn. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please share, and we'll see you next time.